All right, it's Saturday afternoon. I've done been to work. I've done planted half the garden, tilled in all the garden and planted half of it with a little man helping me. And now I'm going to go to work on this big block. I've made the executive decision since I figured out my dumb, dumb move right here. I ain't sure how I got the wrong retainers, but I do. I'm going to pull them heads off. I'm going to put a different set on. I'm either going to use, well, maybe I won't put a different set. I'm going to pop some valves, look at the seats. Maybe I'll just lap them. But this one here leaking pretty good. It was leaking pretty good. No use putting it together that way, right? It's the might as well as it always gets you. Or these are 049 heads. They're not painted ports. And they're new. I might put them on. Or, I ain't sure what they're doing out there. Or, right up here, I got some, they're 397 5950 heads, which came off the engine that's in the blue truck before I put aluminum heads on it. I think they're open chamber oval ports. But I ain't sure they got hardened seats in them. Those were rebuilt not long before I tore that engine apart. So maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe. I'm pretty sure the guy said when I rebuilt them, it was more than 10 years ago, but I'm pretty sure he said they didn't have hardened seats. And I think I said, I don't drive that thing that much. I ain't going to worry about it. I think that's what I said. So I suppose the dilemma is, do we want to pull the heads off this, which is assembled and fresh and new, and put them on that? Or do we want to lap some valves and run the peanut ports, which should be just fine on a tow motor? Or dig out them ancient ones up there. Those are 6970. I don't think they're hardened seats, but they were on a truck. They might be. Anyway, I'm going to quit debating with myself and pull these heads off. I haven't got very much done because I keep having to go outside and have, you see. But that's okay. That's uh, shop foreman's job. I pulled the heads off and that's about it. If I could find my light, I'd show you. Where the heck is my light? Here it is. That it's almost imperceptible cylinder bore wear. You cannot hang a nail on it, so. So I think it's gonna be all right. Certainly not a high compression motor. Also, the air compressor keeps running. Look at them. She's wearing a DD Speed Shop shirt. Yep, all the cool kids out riding their motorcycles. Mine's out in the shed as usual. Let me show you what I got over here. Uh, one thing is, <clears throat> those are peanut ports. Look how much smaller the ports are in the gas. They say that builds velocity and it's good for a towing motor, but they won't rev much past 5,000 RPM or so. But you know, that's all we need anyways. It's going to be a, a pulling a trailer. All right, let me show you something else. This intake valve is one that was leaking. Not a lot, but hey, there's a spider in there. Not a lot, but it was leaking. You could hear it. It sounded worse in the video than... It was, but you could hear it. And my theory was it's just got a little carboned up from sitting and would seal up once it started running. I think that was the correct theory because it's nice and narrow and it's just dirty. And here is the valve. Where'd it go? It's got a little bit of schmutz on it there. But look, the 
think the valve's okay. Here's one I cleaned up in the wire wheel. Don't say nothing. Shh. Little Miss Heavy Chevy's in here. Shh. See? Almost imperceptible wear. So, I'm kind of considering running these heads again. I wasn't going to. I was thinking I might not. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm in a quandary. That's what it is. Alright, this might sound crazy to you expert engine builders out there. The ones who got plenty of money and do it exactly right the first time, every time. But I'm going to just lap that valve and see how she looks. Alright, that's what it looks like. Let me see if I can get a good angle. With a super light. Oh, valve lapping. So I think we're good. I'm going to roll with a, all the guides felt good. I'm just going to clean them up, lap the valves, and I'm going to get the correct retainers. Maybe I'll just reuse the old ones. I don't know. And uh, roll with it that way. That's what I'm going to do. This is just in a dually <clears throat> crew cab. This ain't no race motor. It's just got to tow some stuff. And the one that's in it is making a little noise and getting tired. So this one should be better than that but shall I get froggy with it I read where some people open those up to uh, a little better flow but then again I've heard some people say you need turbulence that seems like that'd promote good turbulence leave your opinion in the comment I might already be done but I still want to see your opinion all right, I got all the valves lapped. Very minimal effort, and everything's looking good. Um, <clears throat> in my highly organized engine building station. All right, I think all I got to do now is decide if I'm gonna go to go to port in anything, which I don't know why I would, other than to do it, I guess. I don't know. I'm probably not going to do it. Just need to clean the heads up. I need to get the right uh, retainers or keepers or something. Something didn't work out just right there. I think I saw that these are 10 degree and the keepers are 7 or something like that. Something's gotten screwed up. I got to get to the bottom of it. And I'm having trouble with a certain website. It's really not good. And I don't have oodles of time to sit and look either. So, you know, I'm still essential and still working. I sure hope everybody else gets essential real quick, too. This is not cool. Not cool, folks, but we'll get through it. Just now, I'm going to call her quits. I'm going to go in and get cleaned up and uh, relax a little bit because I'm, I'm tired. I really did work hard all day. Except not on this stuff very much. I don't know if this will be the end of the video, but I'm going to ring the bell anyway. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, both of them. Um, <clears throat> I think we still got some pretty good content going on here. Watch the videos. Por favor. Mucho gracias. Oh, and don't forget to go to MrHeavyChevy.com where you can buy support your local hat. T-shirts and maybe hats. I guess the crisis is impacting my hats somehow or another. Oh yeah, this thing had 10 head gaskets on it. So I think I'm going to do that to keep the compression up a little bit. These are kerosene burning heads as they say, I think. But that's alright. Who wants to put premium in their dually that gets 8 miles a gallon or so? What are you doing with all that on? It's like 70 out there. Well, because I, I was polyurethane and it was starting to get warm, but I had polyurethane on me and I didn't want to... All over your hands? Yeah. So, help a girl out. All right. All right, if anybody's ever messed with old cars, you're going to find yourself in this frustrating position. And that is, I've got the wrong retainers I bought. 
I need to get the right one. So I thought to myself, you know, I'm just going to use the old ones. Run it. But look here. See that big gap right there? My height checker. Doesn't clear the big inside diameter of the stock retainer. And that gap measured around 65 thousandths using my feeler gauges. So, I could do a little math and figure this out, but, and use the stock ones. But what I really need to do is just buy new retainers, the correct ones. That's what I should do, and that's what I am going to do. So that means I can't put these heads together today until I get that stuff. So, I'm going to do the right thing. Mostly. I'm not sending the heads to the machine shop. I've just lapped the valves. And I'm going to put her together. But I am going to get the right retainers because if you drop a valve, you got big troubles. I might order 10 head gaskets. I haven't made up my mind about that. They say for every 10 thousandths of head gasket thickness, it's like a tenth of a compression point and that would gain me like two tenths of a point of compression is it worth it maybe maybe not 